What's up, what's up, what's up? Of course, it's me, your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Prime Support. Shoot another awesome video, cause that's what we do. Man, what's up, what's up, what's up? You know, Consumer Prime Support, we review appliances. Today, we're gonna focus on a GE Profile Top Load Wash Machine. All right, in this portion of the video, we're gonna focus on the functions and the features. Man, what can this appliance do as far as some of the bells and whistles? Is it, is it a smart appliance? I know it has smart dispense, so we're really trying to figure out exactly what this appliance could do. And this portion of the video is this what we're gonna focus on. Don't forget, man, if you have an appliance that you need us to review, give, give you our expert opinion on, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the notification so that when we put out a new video, you will get all the alerts and we'll be able to help you as well. You can always email us as well if you have any concerns or any questions about appliances we'll help you out all right so we're gonna let the video rock and roll for a little bit man the model number is gonna pop up as you can see 5.0 cubic feet capacity washer by ge profile this portion of the video right here you're looking at the control panel so i'm just gonna let that roll for a little bit you stop it there you can see that i'm rotating the knob right so you have different settings and different cycles so we're going to go into that depending on the model um, this is probably just a, a basic model, nothing um, that high end because you can get a little bit more as far as the um, functions and features that it might have. So we're just going to let this roll for a little bit. Just going to pause it right there, dive into the owner's manual, man, so that you guys can see that real quick. Um, of course, when we're talking about the owner's manual, this is brought to you by GE. A um, couple things, safety instructions that we always scroll through. Always remember um read important safety instructions read all instructions before using the appliance that will help you out tremendously all right so we're going to scroll through all of this stuff man and get to getting started all right couple steps that you can do of course before loading the machine step one add fabric softener to the fabric softener dispenser important for the detergent use see specific dispenser section in this model for your model it says if using detergent packets, add to the laundry pack dispenser cup. So you have certain models that give you that. Um, some do and some don't. Or add to the bottom of the wash basket before adding clothes. We recommend the use of high efficiency laundry packs such as Tide Pods or Gain Flings. Yeah. Whatever. All right. It says loosely add items around your agitator or infuser. Overloading may negative overloading may negatively impact wash performance. See page 16. We're going to go into that. Um, close the lid until um, it says close the lid. Note unit will not open. Um, unit will not start with lid open except on bulky cycles. Select wash cycle. Select wash option, including deep rinse option when using fabric softener, and then of course press start. All right, it's just throughout this manual, features and appearance may vary from your models. All right, so we want to look at that for a second. All right, so this here we have the control panel. On this particular model, you have a lot of functions, a lot of features. Energy Star, HE, Deep Fill, Smart, Quiet Wash, dry, Direct Drive. You also have a washer, a water station. Um, you also have the detergent plus the water. Um, then water, you have a stain removal section, depending on what model you have as well. Um, but the model that we have here is the one at the bottom. It also comes with the smart dispense, all right? So all this is here. Um, this is the model of the control panel that we're looking at that we have on this particular unit. But again, this one comes with the stain removal guide, all right? Tomato, wine, blood, grass, dirt, and stains, all right? So this machine can be fully loaded with all the functions and features. On top of here, of course, we have a power button. It says press to wake up the display. This is how you activate and turn the wash machine on. You have your start slash pause button, which is B. Of course, start to begin. Um, unless bulky cycle is selected, the lid must be closed for the washer to start cycle. If the lid is open, lid will scroll across the display. All right, so that's one of the things you wanna look for if your lid is open. So it's during the load sensing portion of the cycle, the lid will lock and sensing will scroll across the display. When load sensing is complete, the lid will unlock. 
All right, so that's one of the things about these new machines. They do a lot of sensing to make sure that the machine can handle the weight, depending on how much clothes is inside the machine, because it doesn't want to damage itself. All right, so that's one of the things that you got to think about. All right, pressing pause would unlock the lid. If, lit, if locked at that time, pause the cycle and the start indicator light will blink. To continue the cycle, press start again. It as is if water remains in the machine, select the drain and spin cycle to drain basket and spin water out of the washer basket. Note, machine will automatically cancel and drain when water is present and the lid is left open for 15 minutes or the unit is left in a pause state for 24 hours with the lid closed. Select cycle and press start to begin new cycle. All right, so that's a couple of things that you want to consider as well. I'm um, also noticed on a lot of these models as well when you press pause if the machine is, is spinning or the tub is in rotation it normally takes a minute for the tub for the lid to open because it has to sense that the basket is not moving all right so you want to think about that getting started display and status lights all right it says display um, shows the appropriate time remaining until the end of the cycle note the cycle time is affiliate is affected by how long it takes the washer to fill this depends on the water pressure in your home the size of the load being washed also signify significantly impacts cycle time with larger loads taking longer it says in addition this display will scroll the washer status you got balancing start for rebalancing cycle to redistribute clothes stops after rebalancing is complete delay when delay wash is initiated it says replace with estimate time when cycle starts end of cycle um, of course you see end and of course you have fill it says fill will scroll across the display during fill afterwards the estimated end of cycle time is displayed H2A, H2O supply can be sent, um, can, cannot sense water level. Water supply possibly turned off. All right, so that's normally what you'll look for, H2O supply. Lid, cycle stop, lid is open. All right, close the lid and press the start button. Sensing, talking about sensing out of balance condition, waterproof items or load size and type before and during fill. All right, and you have your pause. So a lot of that stuff we already went over just a few minutes ago. Um, but we want to get into it to make sure that you are uh, fully aware of what it takes to operate this particular unit. All right, cycle status lights. It says it shows whether the washer is in the pre-wash, delay, fill, soak, wash, rinse, or spin portion of the cycle. Note, cycle status lights vary by model. If an out of balance condition is detected by the water, the spin light blink during the remaining portion of the cycle and will stay illuminated for a short time after cycle completion. When this occurs, the water is taking actions to correct the out of balance condition and complete, com complete the cycle normally. In some cases, the water may not be able to balance the load and spin up to full speed. If you notice the load is more uh, wet than normal at the end of the cycle, redistribute the load evenly in the wash basket and run a drain and spin cycle. All right, so one of the things that we're gonna have to discuss, because this happens a lot when we go to customers' home, if you feel as though the clothes at the end of the cycle is not spun out like it's supposed to, again, it's recommended that you redistribute the clothes and of course you can put it on a drain and spin cycle all right this is not a bad thing to do i understand that after a certain time from you using the machine you're familiar with certain ways that it will work it does not mean that the machine for some reason is not working properly again it could just be the issue of the load inside the basket if it's extremely heavy it slows down the rotation it's not spinning as fast so that's why they ask you to redistribute the clothes and use the drain and spin cycle all right but if you use if you do that and you're still having more issues then of course we suggest calling the manufacturer if it has a manufacturer warranty or calling a service provider to come out to service the appliance all right other than that that's it Feature status lights indicate C section F and G for more models. You have your pause, controls where you can lock. This is the washer's lock. Will blink once if you press any button or turn the cycle knob. Lid lock, the lid is locked. See the control lock distribution. On some models, this is, uh, you can get the Wi-Fi. All right, on the model that we're reviewing on our site here, it does have the Wi-Fi on it on, on our model. It says, will display when washer is connected via Wi-Fi. 
will blink when you are attempting to connect your device to your home Wi-Fi. Spin stop indicates wash basket is coasting to a stop following spin. Lid will not unlock until basket has fully come to a stop. All right. So that's one of the things there. It says consumer help indicator. All right. So this is almost like helping you out if there's any messages or codes that you might see so that you can somewhat get familiar with what what actions or course of actions you can take to resolve some of these issues because some of these issues could be resolved if you contact GE if you like if you look at the bottom where it says lid you contact GE if it says canceled you can also contact GE they might be able to help you work your way throughout this issue without you contacting the service provider all right save yourself a couple dollars all right so that's cool spin light blinking h2o supply water not entering washer canceled may scroll and display if the machine was paused for longer than 24 hours or if the machine has stopped itself before the cycle complete due to certain errors lid lid will be shown on display if three cycles have been started without opening the lid all right the washer will not start another cycle until the lid is open all right so get familiar with that all right so we can actually go back to the video let that rock for a little bit so you can see some of the stuff all right so here you have your hot um here's the the temperature your wi-fi button you have deep fill cold soil spin rinse auto soak tangle control deep fill we're going to get into all that stuff towels bulky quick wash sanitize with oxy drain and spin all right so you also have your normal whites delicates jeans and downloaded cycles this we're familiar with with the lg brand but now it seems like ge is adopting that as well but you never know who makes these appliances from time to time even though it might say ge on top of it it could be made by lg all right so you just want to keep that in mind you never know all right so us this is us going through the different setting different the speeds rinse deep with um deep use with softener extra single all right so the buttons are easy to press um, that's one of the things you want to be careful of when you are using this machine or trying to clean it. Got to be careful what you use. It's like your cell phone. You don't want anything real wet or abrasive because it could damage the appliance because those are extremely sensitive. All right, so this is inside the tub. We're looking downward into the tub where the glass is, right? So you can actually see that. Um, before we get into the chart that we might see, um, I'm going to talk about one of the key components in the washing machine again you can see the panel you can see it says ge profile you have your power clean gentle care auto select my cycle you can hold for three um hold um three seconds to save stuff like that so we really like those functions and features smart wash technology that it has on here but we want to make sure that we go into how to really load your washing machine all right, that is real key before we even start doing anything else, understanding how to really do that. All right, so let me see right here. It says sorting wash loads, sort by color, whites, lights, colors, soil level, fabric type, sturdy, cottons, easy care, delicates, whether the fabric produced lint, terry cloth, Chanel, never heard of that, or collects lint, right, corduroys, velveteen, Hope I said that right. Either way, was lint producers such as cotton towels and socks separated from lint collectors, including synthetic garments and dress pants? All right, we can dive into it. it says loading the washer. So when you're looking at this particular unit, your water level and your clove level, right? That's how dip the difference should be between the two. It shouldn't be a whole bunch of clothes and less water. All right, uh, average medium load and average large load. All right, so it's telling you exactly what the load water level is. It says load. It says load dry items loosely in the washer basket. Again, if you have the impeller or the actuator, when you're doing with the impeller, you want to do it around it. When you're doing with the actuator, you still want to load it around it, and you don't want to pile the clothes on top of it. And they have to be loose. They got to be able to move around because the machine is moving it around. So the more clothes you dump on top of the washing machine, that has an effect on it. All right, so you just want to keep that in mind. All right, so for the best result, loads items evenly and loosely around the outside of the basket, filling, the, filling in towards the center on large loads. To add items after washer has started, press start slash pause if the lid is locked. 
Wait until the lid lock indicator on display is no longer illuminated. Before attempting to open the lid, lift the lid and submerge additional items around the outside of the basket. Close the lid and press start to resume. Adjust load size, selection, and or use deep fill option if necessary. Note, some cycles use two-stage wash fill. The first stage will have a lower water level than the second stage. This is normal operation. All right, do not place large items such as sheets, blankets, and towels across the infuser. Load them around the outside of the basket. All right, so that's the same thing that we just said. Do not um, put lawn or sofa cushions into the washer as they are too big to remove. Remove outer covers and only wash them. All right, so good information there that we can actually look into as well diving into um, some of this functions and features here that we really like see what we got with the washing guide to this particular unit getting started wash cycles wash select the knob and you have different models um, only depending on what you have this is the items to wash cycle for normal regular or typical use for washing up to a full load of normal soiled cotton clothing. All right, colors, normals, that's a cycle. You have the water temperature, soil level, spin, selection, duration, options available, stain removal guide, depending on the model that you have. On this one, we do not have that. It says warm rinse, auto soak, deep rinse, delay wash, extra rinse, power pre-wash, it says cycle details, cycle for normal, regular, or typical use of washing up to a full load of normally soiled cotton clothing. Choose the heavy or extra heavy soil level selection and warm or hot water temperature selection is appropriate for your clothes. Load for a higher degree of cleaning. And, um, it says incorporates multi-stage multi fills and wash periods to provide optimum fabric care. All right, you do have your casual clothes, light soiled, office wear, casual stuff, water temperatures, cold, um, as colors, uh, soil level normal, spin is normal. Then you have multiple options. It says wash cycle tailored to care for casual clothes and office wear items. All right, lingerie, that's delicate stuff, medium to lightly soiled athletic wear items of technical or synthetic fabrics that's your active wear stuff that you work out in go to the gym that you like running outside play ball whatever it is that you do especially dealing with if you have kids um their sports uniforms and stuff like that or the sports clothes that's where you watch so wash some of that stuff in um if it's medium to light soil athletic wear all right the water temperature is warm um, you're talking about the soil as normal, spin as normal, stuff like that, and you have different options. So we can go into this a little bit. It says cycle designed for care of medium to light soil active wear, athletic wear, and, te and technical fabrics. Incorporates a dual stage wash period to effectively treat body soils and odors. All right, you have your quick wash cycle, small loads of lightly soiled items that are needed in a hurry. Examples include one casual wear outfit or three soccer uniforms. All right, so it's nothing that you will probably use a normal load in because it's not going to work. It's, it's, it's too fast. It's too quick of a cycle. And you can only put a limited amount of stuff in here. Like it says, three soccer uniforms or one casual wear outfit. All right, that's not a lot. Drain and spin, we talked about that previously. Understanding that you can use this to your benefit. Wet loads of items for items that need only to be rinsed. Use this cycle with deep rinse option. All right, so you can do that. Utilizing a high speed to extract water from wet items for items that need to be rinsed, select the deep rinse option when using this cycle. All right, sanitize with Oxy. That's something that we can get into a little bit here. Um, heavily soiled, color fast items. You already know the temperature is hot, extra heavy, more, and all that different type of stuff when you're dealing with the um, sanitize with oxy. All right, so we're getting started again. Items you got jeans setting that you can use jeans with medium to light soil. All right, so like we talk about each and every time that we discuss a wash machine, it's very specific in what it is as far as the 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 texture or the fabric of the clothes that you're actually using, the name, the cycle. It really helps you guys out to make great decisions on how to really wash your clothes. All right, so the temperature is different for the for the jeans, of course, the soil level is normal and you have spin speeds there deep clean 
all right sturdy fabrics with heavy to medium soils all right so deep clean has a warm temperature heavy soil normal spin this is incorporates multiple step wash periods combined with extended wash periods to effectively clean heavily to medium soil sturdy fabrics all right so bulky all right you're talking about water resistance bedding and bulky items such as large coats mattress pads and bath mats bulky stuff all right, provides a deep fill slash max fill wash water level to wash bulky and waterproof items. Also incorporates a deep fill rinse to effectively rinse bulky items and low spin um, appropriate for these items. Only use this cycle for water resistance, bedding, or bulky items. All right, so bulk, you can wash small comforters and stuff like that in the bulky. The machine responds differently depending on the load and the cycle that's being selected because it's calibrated and it's smart enough to do so. Towels and sheets, use that setting for towels and sheets. Whites, use that for um, whites and household linens as well. All right, so all this stuff, all these different options you can definitely choose from. We can talk about some of the sanitizers with Oxy to get a little bit more detail on that. It says the sanitizer with oxy cycle when using an oxy additive along with your detergent is designed to remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria found in a home laundry. Measure the detergent and the oxy products carefully using the amounts appropriate for a large heavily soiled load in a top load washer. Follow the detergent and the oxy product label instructions for the sanitizer with oxy cycle only. Add the, it says add the clothes first and then place the detergent and oxy products directly on top of the load. The washer hot water supply connection must provide a minimum of 120 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure the effectiveness of this cycle. Note, the default sanitizer with oxy cycle uh, water temperature cannot be changed. Alright, so a couple things to look at. So you have different models. So we went through certain models depending on the cycle chart again you have another model here so this is the model that we actually have so we went through another model um, because it has it inside this machine but you can see a lot of the stuff are just about the same when you're talking about different cycles normal slash colors delicates quick wash drain and spin water temp warm warm um, depending on the water temperature your soil level your spin duration um, depending on what it is that you want you have the max you have normal all right depending on what it is that you use and of course you have options available and we're going to download this inside the instruction um, inside the description box so that you'll be able to have the owner's manual as well all right so a lot of this stuff is repetitive depending on the model that you have all right so we went through a lot of this stuff and a lot of this stuff is just about the same um, again you can pause it you can see the video so i don't have to really go in depth with it anymore all right so bulky stuff tiles whites downloaded cycle so we haven't had that so we can dive into that a little bit various um specialty fabrics referred to the smart hq app special uh, special specialty cycles selected through the smart hq app defaults to active wear all right and of course you have your active wear or downloaded default medium to lightly soil athletic wear items or of technical or synthetic fabrics all right so a lot of that stuff like i said is the same there we talked about the 99.9 percent .9 sanitized with oxy and you can't change the water temperature um again this is different from the one that we have so we can let this video rock and roll a little bit so that you can actually see inside of the tub lifting up the, li the lid you can see through the window and it's the micro band protected with all right so it's protected with microband that's the ge technology again you can also get this in the impeller and you can get it with the agitator as well all right so you want to consider that 5.0 tub cubic feet inside the tub all right so you got some room there to put some clothes in um you can see that you have your liquid bleach only right and then of course that's the latch that's not where you put the detergent so we're going to um, let you see where you put the detergent bam right inside the soap dispenser there so you have your softener your custom ad your tide pods and then of course you have your detergent over there as well all right so that's where you will put the detergent so we can actually just probably go to that real quick 
so we can see because um, the machine that we have doesn't deal with the stains again all this is downloaded in the owner's manual um, so you'll be able to see that all right so let's go into the smart dispenser all right this is not the model that we have there's multiple models inside the description so we're going to find the one that we have all right flex dispense drawer so this is the one that we have softener custom add tide pods and detergent it says use this flex dispense drawer for softener slash conditioner pre-wash detergent detergent packs laundry packs and main detergent Fab, uh, liquid fabric softener slash conditioner should be added to the far left washer drawer compartment it says follow the liquid fabric softener conditioner manufacturer's recommendation for the correct amount of softener and conditioner based on the load size do not overfill or dilute softener slash conditioner as this can result in additive being dispensed prematurely in the wash cycle your options selections will determine when liquid fabric softener slash conditioner is automatically dispensed at it is optimal time in the rinse cycle all right so you want to think about that as well note fabric softener crystals should not be added to the dispenser drawer as they will not dispense properly all right it says pre-wash detergent should be added to the middle left sec um, second from the left custom add compartment use the smart hq app fill for heavily um soil loads to loosen and remove heavy soil before starting the main cycle selected refer to the smart hq app for flex dispense capabilities all right so we can go to the right where it says he right top um he detergent should be added to the far right compartment all right so that's there far right follow the detergent manufacturer recommendations for the correct amount of detergent based on the load size taking care to add detergent to the right compartment do not overfill or dilute detergent as they can result in additive being dispensed prematurely in the wash cycle your opinion is that your options selections um, will determine when detergent is automatically dispensed at its optimal time in the wash cycle for optimum performance especially when selecting cooler temperature in cold water climates place powered powdered he detergent directly on top of the load all right note single dose laundry package should not be added to the detergent dispenser as they will not dispense properly put packets in the laundry pack dispenser cup all right so you do have it for the pods here it's specific I'm telling you exactly using the powder you want to put it directly on your clothes or in the uh in the load all right you don't want to put it in any of these all right so you want to think about that as well uh, laundry packs um, I don't know if we are read uh, laundry packets laundry packets should be added to the middle right third from the left compartment all right right here I'm um, following the detergent the manufacturer recommendations for correct number of detergent packs for your wash load do not add more detergent packets than recommended as this can result in residual detergent being left over at the end of the cycle your option selections will be determined when detergent is automatically dispensed at its optimum time in the wash cycle note we recommend the use of high efficiency laundry packs such as tie pods or gain flings um says so some detergent packs may not dispense completely at very cold temperatures or in the delicate cycle in this case you may use a warm temperature setting to dispense water to dissolve detergent packs all right of course you always want to make sure it's high efficiency best um, laundry detergent to use when you're using this machine because it works best um, it doesn't affect or damage your machine because if you don't use the right one you can and that's how it works all right so we're just going to dive into and let the video roll for a little bit as you can see there going into the machine with the pods really like it flex dispense you see the window where you can see downward into the machine we really like that look so you can observe how the machine will work back and forth as well um, that is up to you um, let's see what else that we can get into when we're discussing this machine again depending on the dispenser that you have depending on the model that you have it's different so you can look that information up all this is going to be in the description box as well all right liquid beach dispenser um, we can do that it says liquid clorox be bleach should be added through the bleach dispenser in the front left corner 
Follow bleach manufacturer recommendation for the correct amount of liquid Clorox bleach based on the load size. Taking care to not apply or split it directly on clothing or spill it directly on clothing. Do not use liquid Clorox bleach and laundry pretreatment such as an oxy product in the same load. All right, so you want to consider that as well. Automatic sensing. Um, that's something that we can discuss a little bit. It says the deter. It, it says this determines the proper amount of water suited for the size and type of load placed in the wash in the washer. The washer will not start the cycle or fill with water if the lid is open. When the lid is closed, the machine is able to begin filling with water in order to sense the load size. Note: automatic load sensing initiates a spin at the beginning of the cycle. This is normal. All right, so these are things that you want to look for if you want to start up your machine and understand how it works. It says this is a high efficiency washing machine. This system requires less water while providing effective cleaning um, action. You may notice that the water level is lower than on your previous washer. This is normal for a high efficiency washer. All right, keep that in mind. Pre-treatment. It says place laundry pre-treatment such as oxy product directly on top of the load of clothes. Do not use liquid Clorox bleach and laundry pretreatment. We just discussed that, such as oxy product in the same wash load. All right. Proper use of detergent. All right. Using too little or too much detergent is common cause of laundry problems. Use less detergent if you have soft water or a smaller load or a, uh, or a lightly soiled load. For spots, apply pretreatment to items as recommended on the product label. Application should be made in the basket to prevent overspray, which may cause the coloring or the lid or graphics to fade. Place detergent packs in the laundry pack dispenser on some models or the button of the wash basket before adding clothes. All right. GE appliance recommend the use of high efficiency detergent sites as Tide Pods. So we've read a lot of that stuff as well about the detergent. Sorting wash loads, we got into that. Loading, we did all that already. Um, Wi-Fi, again, this is a smart appliance, so depending on the model, your washer is either GE appliance, Wi-Fi connect enable, or compatible using the optimum GE U Plus Connect module. Alright, so if you want to connect that, you can pause this, look at it, and go through the description on how to really do that. Alright, cleaning, um, interior, exterior, you can do that as well. That is all up to you. It tells you specifically how to do so um, and how to really do it. Um, it's best to do it. It says interior of the washer to clean the interior of the washer select the bulky cycle on the control panel This bulky cycle should be performed at a minimum once per month The cycle will use more water in addition to bleach to control the rate at which soils and detergents may accumulate in your washer All right, so that's one of the things that um, I didn't know much about it I thought you had a clean cycle, but they're telling you use the bulky all right um, so let's figure out how to really, really, really how to do it. Read the instructions before completing, before starting the bulky cycles. Remove any garments. All right, one object from the washer and ensure the washer basket is empty. Then, of course, you open the lid, pour one cup of 250, 250 milliliters of liquid bleach or other washing machine cleaner into the basket. Close the lid and select the bulky cycle. Push the start. When the bulky cycle is working, the display will show the estimated time remaining. Do not interrupt. All right. So again, important. Run bulky one cup of bleach once a month. All right. So that's it. Um, again, you can clean a dispenser drawer. Um, we talked about the flex dispenser as well. On the model that we have, um, detergent tank clean out, vacation water supply. So a lot of the stuff, man, we've got gone through a lot. Dealing with the appliance <clears throat> as well. Um, deep fill. All right, so we can dissect this a little bit. Because I'm not sure we actually went into this. Deep fill. It says select the deep fill feature for loads with extra water is desired. The deep fill feature is recommended for special case loads only, not for typical use. Press and release the deep fill buttons once before starting the cycle to add three additional gallons to the wash load. Holding the deep fill buttons for three seconds will provide the deepest fill level possible. This will increase cycle time due to the additional time it takes to fill the water. All right, so you consider that. To cancel this option, if desired, press the deep fill button again. 
All right, power pre-wash. And this is on some models, not everything is on the model. This is ideal for heavily soil loads. This cycle option works with smart dispense to add a brief wash, soak, and drain cycle to loosen and remove heavily soil before starting the cycle. Tangle control on some models. So we do have this on our display on the model. I can go back to that a little bit. Again, I wanna make sure we give you guys all the information we possibly can um, to make sure that you are um, well aware of really how to use the appliance, man. So no rush here on our end. All right, so let me get that in real quick. Um, it says set, setting the option will adjust your wash cycle to aid in the prevention of tangling. Your cycle time may increase with this option is selected. Note, this option is not allowed for some cycles. All right, so keep that in mind. Warm rinse, all right, so that's something that they have never provided before. Most wash machines rinse with cold water, um, not warm, it says provides a warm rinse to wash load. Note that rinsing operations may be different with the operation selected in order to effectively apply the warm rinse water to your load. Auto soak, it says this option begins with a brief Agitation soaks for a specific period of time, then moves through the rest of the cycle automatically. Repeated pressing of the soak button will scroll through 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, and two hour selections, and then return back to zero soak minutes. Deep rinse, set this option to provide a deep rinse, or when using fabric softener, it may change other settings. All right, spin may go to higher setting as well to maximum performance. Delay wash is obvious. When you delay wash button is repeatedly pressed, the delay time is set from one to nine hours and back to clear to um, clear hours. All right, extra rinse. All right, it says when you're using your extra detergent or bleach to clean heavier soils, use the extra rinse option to better remove additional residue. Note this action is not allowed for some cycles. Smart wash technology on some models. It says the auto sense and balance, wash performance, fabric care, cycle time for normally soiled or lightly soiled loads. Gentle care, reduce agitation time and adds a series of soaks to reduce fabric wear and fading while sti still providing great wash performance on garments needed special care. Use power clean to add heavily agitated and soaking to boost wash performance for loads needing a deep clean. Then of course you have your additional cycles, um, temperature soil, rent, um, my cycle settings. All right, you got your sound, your control lock. It says as the selector knob is turned, the temp, soil, and spin setting change to automatically preset the false settings for each cycle. If you desire, it says if you desire different um, default settings, select the desired options or change to the cycle select setting, then press and hold the My Cycle button for three seconds to store them. The My Cycle button will light when active. In the future, when you turn the select knob on that cycle, your setting will automatically recall. To restore the factory default, temporarily press the My Cycle button for half a second. The My Cycle light will turn off and the factory defaults will load. However, the next time you select this cycle, your my cycle setting will load if you wish to permanently restore the factory settings for the cycle when the my cycle is active all right so that's all that you see there you can read that you can see that so we're going to let the video roll i think we went through everything that we possibly could with this ge model man so we're going to speed up this joint let it rock for a second because we're just about at the end of this video man you already know who i am man i'm your boy richie rich in the lab getting it in this G ge profile man a lot of options a lot of features i hope you guys enjoy it. we out peace all right so with this portion of the video we're going to focus on the warranty 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 the manufacturer warranty all right so we're going to dive into the warranty section for this video dealing with ge talking about this ge appliance ge profile so it says geappliances.com, all warranty services provided by our factory service centers or an authorized customer care technology to schedule service online. Visit us at geappliance.com slash service or call GE Appliances at 1-800-GE-CARES. You can see the number there. It says, please 
have your serial number and your model number available when calling for service. Servicing your appliance may require the use of an onboard data port for your diagnostics. This gives a GE appliance factory service technician the ability to quickly diagnose any issue with your appliance and helps GE appliance improve its products by providing GE appliances with information on your appliance. If you do not want your appliance data to be sent to GE appliance, please advise your technician not to submit their data to GE Appliance at the time of service. All right, so that's a couple of things that you want to think about there. For the period of one year from the original date of purchase, we will replace any factory specified part for the washer which fails due to a defect in materials or workmanship during this lifetime one year warranty. We will also provide free of charge all labor and related services to replace the defective part. You also have a 10 year warranty as well from the original date of purchase. The motor, if it should fail due to a defect in material or workmanship, during this additional nine year limited warranty, you will be responsible for um you will be responsible for any labor and related service costs all right so they'll cover the part for 10 years which is the motor um but you will have to pay for the labor all right so that's not bad they're giving you something a little bit extra there as far as ge what is covered what is not covered all right some of the things that we always go through each and every video damage the product caused by accident fire floods or acts of god service trips to your home to teach you how to use the product products which are not defective or broken or which are working as described in the owner's manual and that's why we go through the functions and features to help you guys out so you know exactly how to use the appliance so you don't have to call GE all right damage caused after delivery product not accessible to provide required service exclusion of implied warranties stuff like that your sole and exclusive remedy is product repaired as provided in this limited warranty any implied warranties including the implied warranties of merchantable <laughs> merchantability or fitness of a particular purpose are limited to one year or the shortest period allowed by law all right in the united states of course in canada depending on where you are you also get extended warranties through GE as well, but GE uh, consumer support, register your appliance, always remember to do that. Schedule, service, extended warranties, remote connectivity, parts and accessories, um, contacts, GE. So you have all these different things that you can do when you're dealing with the warranty portion. Again, the owner's manual is going to be downloaded in the description box. So you'll be able to have all this information. But we are coming to an end, man. This is the warranty portion of the video, man. Of course, I'm your boy, Richie Rich. I'm in the lab. We're getting it in. And I'm out. Peace. All right, so for this portion of the video, we're going to focus on the price. How much? It's going to cost you. Might cost you a little. Might cost you a lot. Either way, it's going to cost you. Man, when we talk about an appliance, man, this is the GE Profile 5.0 cubic feet. High efficiency, smart, white white top load washing machine with microband technology and its energy star as well we're going to talk about how much it's going to cost you when you go to your local store to purchase this appliance right now we're looking at the home depot website it's a special buy depending on the area that you're in originally you're looking at 899 so you're talking about between 900 bucks and a thousand bucks in general including taxes they're saving you 22 percent right now giving you 200 dollars and 201 dollars off dropping the price to 698 all right so that's a really good price for this particular appliance i'm um, looking at some of the functions and features that it has on this particular appliance man you're gonna really like the functions and features in this appliance of course it's dealing with the white one um, so we'll see the difference in the price i just want to go through some of these different images and different pictures so that you'll be able to see what you're getting and what you're dealing with when you're purchasing this appliance all right so let's talk about the diamond gray all right so for the diamond gray originally it's 9.99 so you know you're spending at least a thousand dollars originally again it has a special buy saving you 25 percent 251 dollars and you have um the price of 748 dollars all right so depending on how you your laundry room is set up if you want to get the combination of the washer and the dryer if you want to get it between the diamond gray and the white we refer to this in the functions and features portion of the video you can also get it with the impeller or the actuator it all depends 
all right the price is not going to really be that much difference between the two so it's all about your preference whether you like the agitator or the impeller it's up to you as well all right let's see in the white um see if it makes a difference agitator impeller um i thought it would originally just because um of just the different um, styles of performance the difference between the impeller and the agitator you get more space with the impeller than you do with the agitator because it's in the way and it's sticking sticking straight up so outside of that that's it man 690 698 and you're talking about for the white and 748 for the impeller let's go to best buy best buy got a sale right now 699 let's see what colors they might have or it's just the one color they have both colors here at Best Buy. Right now, saving you $110 is $699.99 for the white. Um, best from Best Buy was originally $809.99. All right, so yeah, roughly about the same price you can see there, nothing different. Um, you're talking about the diamond gray. You can get that unit right now um, for $749.99, saving you $150 was originally $8.99. Alright, so Best Buy is a little bit cheaper in the original price, but with the discount is roughly just about the same exact price that you was getting from Home Depot. Alright, so the last one we normally go to is Lowe's. Man, look at Lowe's participating with everybody. Alright, so you got the white talking about $6.99. Of course they're saving you 200 bucks right now. It was originally $8.99. This is for your white machine here. Um, sales ends April 13th so by the time we put this video out the sale might be still there or it might go back to the original price so it might be gone either way you're saving yourself 200 bucks dropping it to 699 all right look at the diamond gray okay well they're not really participating fully um, right now the diamond gray originally is 999 saving you 167 um, in savings um, now it's the original now the prices with the saving is 832 and it ends April the 13th. So if I was shopping, of course, I would go to either Home Depot or Best Buy to purchase the supplies because it's a lot cheaper there. But if you only have Lowe's and that's all you have, then unfortunately you got to do what you got to do. But this is the price portion of the video, man. GE Profile 4.9 or 5.0, same exact thing. Um, wash machine, man. Diamond gray or white, depending on what your laundry room look like. But we are out of here, still in the lab getting it in. You already know what we do, man. I'm out. Peace. All right, so for this portion of the video, we're going to focus on the parts. Man, how much is going to cost you per repair to repair this uh, wash machine made by GE? All right, so a couple things that you want to factor in. Our labor for this example is $150. We do charge a service fee for a helper about $60 and a slight markup of the part, just a little bit. And we'll give you an estimate to let you know exactly how much it's going to cost you to repair this wash machine. All right, first thing we're going to look at is the tub and motor. You have your tub ring, you have your impeller, you have your inner tub and your outer tub. The outer tub, it says the tub assembly is not offered as a service part. So if you happen to get that punctured for some reason, there's a hole in it, you have to replace the whole entire unit because they don't make that part. All right, you have your transmission or your gear case, motor that's here, drain pump on this side, you have a belt, um, actuator, motor, and all these different things, suspensions that you can see there as well and you have your wire harnesses and all those different parts and component all right so we're going to see how much it's going to cost you to repair a lot of these appliances so let's get into it your belt is a common issue tends to break um, on this particular model it doesn't break that often but it is a common issue for a belt to break because over time it wears down so you're talking about a 50 dollar part labor 150 so you're talking about at least 200 bucks all right Let's see what else they have to offer here. Washer nuts and washers and stuff like that. Clamps and holes, not a common issue. Um, pressure switch holes, not a common issue, but that's connected directly to the side of the washing machine that allows the machine to communicate to let you know exactly how much water inside the machine, depending on the soil level that you select. All right, uh, main harness, $100, no longer available. So you want to keep that in mind as well when you're looking at a lot of these new appliances. Sometimes the part is no longer available. You will have to contact GE um, or you can go to different sites just to verify to see if it's available or not. You're talking about your impeller and your auger base. Uh, that's number 300. 
Um, that part coming up no longer available there as well. So you want to look into that. Your impella cap. That's where the cap goes on top of that. That is a very important part because that what can happen is that cap, if it comes off, it can damage your clothes, rip it off. So you just want to keep that in mind. All right, let's rock. Basket 316. That's the tub. If you happen to need that tub, um, that part is coming up no longer available as well. So just from the looks of things and how it's going so far, a lot of things that's no longer available. We, but we're going to continue to shoot the video because we got to put this information out here and that's going to play a part in the grade that we give it. Uh, motor, pulley, and nut. Um, that's 605. So let's look at the motor. That part is, has a 10 year warranty on the actual motor. So if you happen to need that, you will contact GE so they can cover the part. If it's under, if it's out of the one year warranty, it has a 10 year warranty just on the part and not the labor. But part is coming up no longer available. So you want to keep that in mind. All right. So, um, well, here's the motor here, right? That's 630. Um, so you can purchase just the motor. Um, by itself without the impeller so you want to be careful with that mostly we'll try to get the apart as an assembly because it's difficult to try to get that those stuff off if it's not just screwed on all right so it might be simple so you might just need a motor and this part again is 213 dollars and 41 cents so if you're looking at that particular price part 150 plus a 60 dollar make uh markup so you're talking about 210 dollars in parts labor is going to be 300 so you're talking about at least 510 bucks to replace just your motor all right let's see you got your drain pump 69 dollars really good price for a drain pump common issue the dishwasher doesn't drain um there's water that's inside the tub when you notice it and it doesn't drain out it might give you an error code error message to let you know it's not draining as well so we're talking about 69 dollars in price for the part if we marked it up to about a hundred dollars labor 150 you're talking about 250 bucks drain hose again another common issue there it can get punctured it can leak 12.99 part is 50 labor 150 you're talking about 200 bucks um water valve um 693 not sure exactly what water valve that is for six dollars and 93 cents um not sure there's 693 that's on the side a connector there so that's something real small not a common issue all right let's go to the top panel and the lid all right so if you happen to need a lid normally the lid will rust over time um so it might get discolored if you get a specific color it might get rust um, the color might look kind of crazy and whack and start to chip. So that's the only reason why you normally would get a lid or the springs might break, but you can get those individual hinges by itself rather than replacing the whole entire lid. Um, you also have your water valve here as well. All right, so you got your dispenser and your lid switch. So we're gonna go into a lot of these. If you happen to need your water valve assembly, really good price for $47.99. Um, if you're replacing that, $100 for the part, $150 for the labor, you're talking about $250. Bucks. Common issue what can happen with your water valve is that it'll constantly keep water coming in. You might have hot water coming in and the cold water is not coming in because it could be a defective solenoid. So you want to consider that um, when you're dealing with the washing machine. It's a common issue for that to happen, for that part to break. But it comes as an assembly, so you're going to replace both the hot water side and the cold water side. All right, so that's the benefit to it. Let's see what else they got. Main control board with instructions. That's number 36. No longer available there. Wi-Fi board. That's number 38. Um, unavailable there as well. So you want to consider that. Let's see what else they might have. If they have anything. Capacitor. Thermostat. Lid. Lock. Striker. Um, let's see if they got the lid. At least the lid. Um, the lid switch 395 okay um, lid lock quick re uh, release it doesn't have that part a lot of these parts are not available at the moment like i said it could just be this specific site um but yeah a lot of parts are not available or it could just be the appliance is so fairly new they don't have parts for it like that all right and that's one of the things you're gonna have to consider i know it looks nice in the store but if they don't have any parts to fix it when it breaks you might not want to get it all right, your drain hose with an extent is 825. Um, yeah, pretty common issue that can get punctured as well. Break. Um, so let's see what it says as far as the part. Um, let me see. 825. Your 
no longer available there. Man, that's going to factor in the grade, man. A lot of these parts are no longer available either. Um, GE, you got your capacitor, 117.40 for that. Whew, that's high, but it's not a common issue. I've never had to replace one of those ever as of yet. So, um, water, this is washer power cord, not a common issue, but if you need one, 21.85. All right, let's see what else they might have. Control panel, housing white, that's number 13. That's just the housing. I'm more concerned with the control boards that you see there, which is 33 and 35, um, stuff like that. When you're dealing with those numbers and those parts, again, control back plate and gasket, 33. Um, that's the back panel, so I'm more concerned with 35. 35, there you go, user interface board, not available. So a lot of this stuff is unavailable. Wire harness, man, you're gonna have issues here, man. We gotta factor that in when we're dealing with the parts. A lot of the parts are no longer available or not available at all man but when we talking about parts man it's not going to take long we getting it in and out and we are out of here peace all right so for this portion of the video we're going to do our overall review to let you know exactly how we feel about this ge washing machine first thing we're going to start off of course is the warranty 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 the manufacturer warranty all right let me get my notes all right, so as far as the warranty on this GE wash machine, you got a one-year manufacturer warranty, both parts and labor. You also have an additional 10-year warranty just on the part alone. In that case, we really like the warranty that you get with this top-load wash machine. Again, it's a little bit above what your standard warranty is. Um, sometimes they do give you the 10-year warranty on the motor. You can look at the wash machine for the decal or you can check out our video and check out the owner's manual as well. So for that grade, we're gonna give it a four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. All right, so next we got price. How much it's gonna cost you? Might cost you a little, might cost you a lot. Either way, it's gonna cost you. Man, when you're talking about price, depending on the color that you get for this particular unit, of course you can get this in two different finishes. You can get it in white and you can get it in a diamond gray. All right, so whatever fits your laundry room, you have two options for this particular model. When you're talking about the price for this unit, we did catch it on sale when we did the video, so price is subject to change, so you never know. But if you happen to need the white, you're talking about $6.98. Most of that information is coming from Home Depot, um, Best Buy, Lowe's is the same price just about for the white. It's a little bit higher for the diamond gray. And as, for the, as far as the diamond gray, you're looking at $749. That's from Best Buy, that's from Home Depot. Lowe's, you're probably talking about closer to the 800 mark, um, depending on the price you pay for that, if they don't have a sale for the diamond gray. You can also get it in an agitator and in Pella, so that's up to you as well. Price is normally right, right about the same. The, difference, the differences are in the color and of course, um, that's about it. All right. So outside of that, as far as our overall grade for the price, we'll give it another four quattro. All right. Next, we're going to talk about parts, man, cost per repair. For this particular video, man, if you watch the parts portion of the video, we did discuss to you guys as far as the common parts that normally goes bad. We also show you the part that has a 10 year warranty on it as well. But one of the issues that we had on this particular model is actually finding parts. Most of the parts is coming up no longer available for this particular model, and we really do not like that. All right, so as far as the grade that we're gonna give this particular unit, we're gonna give it a two, all right? Uno, dos, all right? Don't have a price or cost per repair. Again, we did the best that we can with the limited amount of information that is given online. So that's one of the things that you wanna factor in when you do decide if you wanna purchase this appliance is if it breaks, um, is parts uh, are parts available for you to purchase and stuff like that. All right, but again, tool. All right, next we got the functions and the features. Man, you already know this is a lot of my favorite parts that I like to do when we do these videos. This appliance, of course, is a smart appliance where you can connect to your Wi-Fi, you can remote start, and you can actually communicate with an app that GE uses. It's called the Smart HQ app. All right, so you can also download download cycles on this particular model as well. We're familiar with that with the LG brand. Um, so now GE is making that a part of their appliance. We are also have the sanitize with Oxy, 99.9% .9 of bacteria. This particular unit, you can have a traditional fill, which is the deep fill, or you can do the 
Um, the newer fill, which is half the amount of water inside the machine, so you do have the option to choose between the two. Like we stated before, you can get this in the impeller or you can get it in the actuator, whatever is best for you there. It also has a flex dispenser, right, where you can customize the, your soap depending on the soil level and how um, you can pre-treat with the, the custom uh, soap dispenser that you can use. You can connect it with the smartphone app and it communicate with the machine so that you'll be able to um, pre-wash the machine using the Smart HQ app. It also has a specific uh, dispenser port that allows you to put the pods in. All right, so that's different. Rather than just throwing it in inside of the machine, you have a specific um, place for that. It also comes with Tangle Control. All right, so this is, for, uh, this is unique um, for this particular model. Um, well, it says it will adjust your wash cycle to aid prevention of tangling your clothes. All right, so you can select that option on the machine. It also has my cycle, so it all depends on the model that you get. Um, each model that you get, it's a, it's different. So check out the functions and features portion of the video. We dive into that and let you guys know. But as far as everything else that I can think about, man, it is a five for the functions and the features. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. All right, let's add this all up, man. Let's talk about it. Warranty, we give it a four. Price, we give it a four. Parts, we give it a two. Functions and features, man, we give it a five. Overall grade, when you look at this joint, you're talking about 15 divided by four. It is a 3.75, all right? Overall, we think this machine is pretty decent. It's not bad. Um, as far as the parts, if it would have gave you if I would have gave it an average grade, it would have um, succeeded and we probably would have recommended this appliance. But as of right now, man, we cannot because the parts are coming up no longer available. The price is pretty decent if you're getting a hundred and something dollars off, depending on where you get it from. And if the sale still applies, um, extended warranty that they give you. So we really like certain portions of, the, of this particular washing machine. Of course, we know we like the functions and features because it's fully loaded. A lot of options for a front load, for a top load unit. But again, we cannot recommend it because of... The, prior, the parts is just no longer available and we just don't advise customers to purchase, for, purchase an appliance that you cannot get parts for, especially if, it, if you cannot fix it. All right, but outside of that, I'm your boy, Richie Rich at Consumer Power Support. You help me, I help you, we both help each other. Till next time, I'm out of here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm out, peace.